Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, you are going to learn about modal verbs. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to use some of your modal verbs such as can, could, and be able to. This is very easy for you to understand. Don't worry, we are going to learn it step by step. Let's get started now. Question Which animal can live in the ocean and on land? Which animal can live in the ocean and on land? Okay, I am waiting for your answer. Lesson 1 Can Could and be able to okay now we are going to learn about modas we are going to start with can could and be able to we use can to say that something is possible or allowed or that somebody has the ability to do something. We use can plus infinitive such as can do, can see, and so on. Okay, let's check some examples. You can repeat after me. We can see the lake from our hotel. I don't have a pain. You can use mine. Can you speak any foreign languages? I can come and see you tomorrow if you like. The word dream can be a noun or a verb. Okay, very good. Now, let's see the negative form. The negative form is can't, meaning cannot, okay? Can't is just a contraction. Let's check some examples. I'm afraid I can't come to the party on Friday. Mark can't pass the exam. The dog can't climb the mountain. Snakes can't fly. You can also say that somebody is able to do something. But can is more usual. Let's see example. We are able to see the lake from our hotel. John is able to study the process manual. Okay, very good. Excellent. But can has only two forms. Can, which is the present, and could, which is the past. Sometimes it is necessary to use be able to. Let's compare this now. I can't sleep. Okay, now let's see the other side of the example with being able to. I haven't been able to sleep recently. Tom can come tomorrow. Tom might be able to come tomorrow. Maria can speak French, Spanish, and English. Applicants for the job must be able to speak two foreign languages. Okay, very good. Now, let's see how to use could. Sometimes, could is the past of can, but not always. 
we use could especially with see hear smell taste feel remember understand okay very good let's see examples we had a lovely room in the hotel we could see the lake at the back of the theater and couldn't hear very well okay very good we can also use could to say that something had the general ability or permission to do something let's see examples my grandfather could speak five languages we were totally free. We could do what we wanted. Now, in the last sentence, it means that we were allowed to do what we wanted. Okay, very good. Now, let's see could and was able to. We use could for general ability. But if you want to say that somebody did something in a specific situation, use was, were, able to, or managed to. So we can say was able to or managed to. So we can say was able to or managed to don't use could okay very good let's see some examples the fire spread through the building very quickly but fortunately everybody was able to escape or you can say everybody managed to escape everybody was able to escape or everybody managed to escape okay very good let's see another example we didn't know where david was but we managed to find him or we're able to find him in the end okay very good let's compare now jack was an excellent tennis player when he was younger he could beat anybody now this sentence means that he had the general ability to beat anybody okay now let's see how to use manage to to compare jack and andy played a match yesterday andy played well but jack managed to beat him now in this sentence he managed to beat him this time okay very good now the negative couldn't which means could not is possible in all situations examples my grandfather couldn't swim we looked for Eba everywhere, but we couldn't find her. Mark played well, but he couldn't beat Jack. Mark played well, but he couldn't beat Jack. Okay, very good. Now you understand how to use can, could, and be able to. Excellent.